everybody, I'm Christian Holub for Entertainment Weekly here at New York Comic Con 2019 at the Javits Center with the cast of Batwoman. Thank you guys so much for coming. Yay. Thank you for having us. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we are talking just a few hours before the show premieres tonight on The CW. Mm. Um, but just to, you know, kind of set the table, um, it's a conflict kind of between your two characters that is kind of the inciting incident that um, draws Kate Kane back to Gotham. Um, what can you guys kind of tell me about, uh, you know, what to expect from your characters early on and, and the way they cross paths? Well, I think for Alice, um, you know, originally there's one reason that she targets uh, Megan's character, Sophie. So <laughs> 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 it was an attempt to be super smooth and it didn't work out so well for you, but that was cool. We're all drawing attention to it. <laughs> yeah. you know, we're like, I love oh, being no, alive. That <laughs> um, but so there's there's one reason that she targets her initially, uh, and then you know there's another reason that sort of unfolds later in the season. I'm um, actually right in the pilot, mm. and there'll be another reason for her beef with Sophie mm -hmm. more. Yeah, for Sophie, I mean, she's just trying to just be out there, do her badass thing, and she has no idea who's capturing her. Um, she just gets captured, and then all of a sudden, it's just kind of like, wait, wait, what, by who? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't come until later. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so Alice is kind of in this um, great tradition of bat villains who base themselves around kid stories or you know, in her case, Alice in Wonderland. Um, and and that kind of gets to, you know, Batwoman is a show not just about a female queer superhero, but also the crazy villain character is a woman. The love interest in danger is a woman. Um, what do you guys kind of like about this um, show where so many roles are, are filled by women and, and totally different uh, female characters? I just love that um, it's actually showing women in all the different variations that you just said. You know, I think a lot of people, they want to just be like, oh, you know, the women, you know, they're just supposed to be doing A, B, and C, but like we actually do A, B, C, D, E, F, and G on this show. And to be a part of something like that is is awesome. Like I love that we have a female villain and mm -hmm. we also have a female hero and, um, and, and her love interest is a woman, it's me. <laughs> like I, 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 I love that we have all of that on the show. And um, I don't know, I think it's just women empowerment up and down the board. That was a really good answer. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I can't top that. <laughs> uh, well, then, I guess just continuing. Uh, Next. <laughs> Next. Um, you know, uh, part, I, I guess another way that that female presence is kind of apparent is that um, it's in Gotham City, but Batman's nowhere to be found. He's, he's been missing by uh, for some period of years when the show starts. Um, what can you guys say about, you know, uh, what's happened to Gotham City since he's been gone and, and, what, and what's maybe different from the Gotham viewers are maybe used to? I think the interesting thing about Batman is that, you know, him and Gotham are inexplicably linked. Mm -hmm. So even though he's not physically there right now, there's still very much a presence of him there and, and there's an absence that is noticed. And obviously Gotham, which was already in some disarray, is now in further disarray <laughs> without him. In, uh, no, no thanks to me as well. <laughs> just made it a lot worse. <laughs> yeah, um, but what do you think? I feel like, you know, with Batman being gone, like there's no one really for the city of Gotham to look up to except for the, the Crows. And, um, you know, we're doing the best that we can, but we are only protecting the elite. And the GPD is not really doing the best job protecting everyone else. So That's Gotham PD for anyone who doesn't know. <laughs> Gotham Police Department, sorry. I've been, we've been filming for We've been time. doing it for so long now. We yeah. just speak I mean, you, acronyms. <laughs> I mean, we are at New York Comic Con where you can buy shirts that say, like, GCPD or, like, oh, good, Arkham good. Inmate or whatever. Actually? Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, I was going to say, we might need a few of those, actually. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think his presence is definitely, it's its missed. They're wondering where he is, and that's why when Batwoman kind of makes her her entrance, um, everyone's really excited because they think it's him, but it's actually a woman doing all that. Awesome. And, uh, you know, you, you, you mentioned this word, uh, the crows, of which Sophie is a member. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of this semi-police state that's kind of materialized in Gotham to make up for Batman's absence. Um, can you go into any more detail about them and how Sophie kind of ended up in their orbit? 
Yes, so the Crows is basically ran by Jacob Kane, who's Kate Kane's father, and Sophie gets to be second in command right underneath him, and yeah, their job is to go out and protect and do what they need to do, but it is mostly just for the elite. So although, yeah, the people of Gotham, you know, they're, they're looking for a savior, they want the savior, but Batman's like peaced out. They have the crows there to hopefully fill in that gap, but I mean, we can't be everywhere. It would only take someone, I guess, like Batwoman to do something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and Rachel, you're now playing this character, Alice, in the superhero verse, but you've previously played uh, Black Canary on Birds of Prey. Yeah. Your former co-star, Ashley Scott, is, is gonna be in the crossover. Is there any <laughs> chance of you reprising Black Canary? I. Uh, no. Okay. I, yeah, I've been asked that question a lot, but I, I'm now firmly in Alice's shoes. Uh, but I did actually speak to Ashley oh, yesterday. Nice. Yeah, and it's so much fun that she's coming. I'm so happy, and um, I can give a little spoiler. So she kept her original costume from oh, wow. Birds of Prey, and the belt and the necklace, she'll be wearing that in the crossover. So mm -hmm. when you see her in the crossover, it's actually like OG Birds of Prey stuff. Mm -hmm. That's awesome, as That's if cool. we uh, couldn't get more excited for the crossover. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank um, you for having us. You. And stay tuned to Entertainment Weekly for more coverage of New York Comic Con 2019. Bye. Bye.